Good afternoon. Um, these are not circumstances that we ever envisioned holding a press conference for. We lost a member of our family yesterday. Tyler Skaggs was a teammate, was a brother, a friend, and most important of all, he was a husband and a son. He was an exceptional young man with an entire life so full of promise yet to live. For some reason that is incomprehensible to all of us, he lives on now only in our minds and in our hearts. Tyler brought joy to everybody around him. He was magnetic. People were drawn to him. He was generous and kind and our team will never be the same without him. But forever, we've been made better by him. We are truly grateful to have had the honor to watch him grow and develop over the years. You know, grief is personal to all of us. It doesn't have a timeline, it doesn't have a roadmap. But what is most important is that we'll all be here for each other as a team, as an organization, and as a family. I cannot truly begin to say how much we're gonna miss Tyler, and we will do everything to honor his memory. We ask that you all please keep Carly, his mother Debbie, father Daryl, and all of his family and friends and his loved ones in your thoughts and prayers. That's all. <clears throat> there are words to express our sadness today. We want to offer, offer our deepest condolences to Tyler, his wife Carly, his mom and, mom and dad, all of his family and friends. Thank you everyone, especially our fans, for the tremendous outpouring of love and support we received for Tyler and his wife and his family and the angels. We especially want to thank Ray, Neil, John, Chris, and the Rangers Baseball Club for the respect and dignity they have shown to the Skaggs family and our organization. I also want to thank Commissioner Rob Manford, Major League Baseball, our fellow M MLB clubs for their support, sympathy, and kindness. Our hearts go out to his wife Carly, his family, and all of those who loved him. We will continue to be there for them during this difficult time. Thank you. As we'll open it up for questions. Again, state your name and affiliation, please. Uh, Pedro Gomez with ESPN. Um, Brad and Billy, I guess this is more for you guys, but what was the decision made to play tonight's game? Uh, yeah, um, I have, uh, I talked with some of the guys on the club, um, and uh, at some point when they're ready, um, they, can, they can elaborate on that. Um, but it felt, and again, I don't want to speak for them, um, but it felt that, one, it was what Tyler would want, um, and also that it's a time to allow them to get back into a routine and to have a, a, a period of time where they feel um, disconnected 
a lot of problems go away when the first pitch is thrown until the last pitch is thrown. And these guys will be there fighting for each other um, with Tyler weighing heavy on their hearts tonight. I can tell you that. Uh. Um, the first day back, whether it was today or tomorrow, is was going to be the one of the toughest, other than yesterday. So uh, I think what Billy hit the nail on the head in the sense that the game itself is a, can be a refuge for players where they can turn their minds off and just focus on baseball. And I don't know that sitting in a hotel room would do them any good. Fletcher. Uh, Jeff Fletcher, Orange County Register. Brad, can, can you talk a little about about what happened yesterday and the, the way you guys kind of supported each other in the last 24 hours? Um, yeah. You know, the team all got together uh, a couple times, um, and uh, some of the guys spoke. But I think most importantly, in the end, we were able to talk about Tyler and laugh about some of the stories and some of the goofy things he did, listen to some of his music. So, it was good. Next question, Tyler. For, for Billy or Brad, um, for people who didn't have a chance to know Tyler Skaggs, what do you want them to know about him as a person? He was consistent with everybody. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I got a, I got an email this morning from, um, you know, uh, Dr. Elitraj, uh, who, who did his surgery, and Dr. Elitraj made a point to, to comment in there about how he treated everybody that came into operating rooms, came into waiting rooms, everybody that it, he encountered. Um, I can speak to people that work inside of our clubhouse. Um, I can speak to people that work outside of our clubhouse. Um, so many people looked at Tyler as, like I said, kind of like I said, like a brother and a son, even, even though they, they might not have a relationship with him or a, you know, a, a family relationship with him. So I think his reach and his impact, I think everybody's going to discover over the, the, the coming weeks, the coming months because the outpouring that we have felt and that, that we've experienced has been um, pretty remarkable. <clears throat> he impacted a lot of people and the community. Um, he, was a, he was a staple in our, in our community um, with, with all of the efforts of, of, the, of the angels um, throughout Southern California. So there's so many people that knew Tyler and loved Tyler. I've yet to, to run into somebody who hasn't. Brad, uh, Mike DiGiovanni with the LA Times. Um, have you reached out to Mike Socher or anybody else on just how to, how to be able to support these players and this team through such a tragedy? Um, uh, I've had a lot of people reach out to me uh, including uh, managers who have gone through similar. Um, and it, to a man, it's, it's the same advice, and that is there's no handbook for this. And you just kind of got to go with, with your honest feelings. And I, I don't think if you, do, if you do that, I think there's, uh, then you're not going to be wrong. Hi, uh, Fabio Dardai of The Athletic. Brad, I know you said when you first took this job that Tyler was one of the first people you reached out to and you spoke highly about sort of what you thought he could be. And just, what was the process like for you just getting to know him as a person as well as as a pitcher? 
Uh, I knew Skaggsy a little bit from last year, being around the ball club. But uh, yeah, once uh, once I was hired, uh, had lunch with him up in Santa Monica at one of his one of the spots he liked to go. Um, and I did. I, I I told Skaggs I thought he could be an all star, and um, I still think he can. But uh, he just the more I'm around him, or the more I was around him, he's, he's just a happy person. He's he's got the type of personality that draws others in. Uh, like I said, he's kind of a he's goofy in a very good, funny way. He's uh, this last this road trip to to Dallas he came up to me four or five days before and said hey we're going to Texas for two series do you, do you care if we all dress up in western gear or cowboy gear so he, he kind of spearheaded that and you know that's one of the last pictures we have of Skaggsy uh, is with with his teammates all dressed up in, uh, in cowboy gear and the last image I have him is standing on a plane with this awful cowboy shirt on playing cards uh um, so, I'll miss him. Uh, Brad, I know you, you played with Daryl Kyle with the Astros and all, that you were not his teammate at the time he passed. Can you kind of talk about what it's like to try to persevere as a player when you when you have something like that happen? Uh, yeah, this, this feels identical. It really does. Um, now, I don't have to, I don't have to go on the field. But it's it's very similar. Um, like I said, it was the the once the game starts, it actually is a refuge because it takes your mind off, it distracts you for a little while, and then uh, you know when you go back to your hotel room, you're reminded of reality. But it helped me get away, um, and it's hard. Today's one of the hardest days, and I know it gets easier, but it's difficult. Artie, this is for you. This is twice in 10 years now when you go back to Nick Aidenhart. Right. Neither Billy nor Brad were here for that. What is this like compared to Nick? Um, Billy called me, um, and um, man, it's like a punch in the heart. It just, um, you really don't, you're so in, in shock uh, when you're told because He's been with us 10 years. He was drafted uh, by us in 09. And, uh, you know, these kids are like family. And for any parent that they have uh, children, first thing you think is, you know, how is somebody going to respond to losing a child? And so the first thing, you know, um, Billy, you know, Billy called and, um, you know, when they call me on, uh, to me, call me on Aiden Hart, probably about five in the morning, and uh, the same, same feeling. You know, you just, you, you can't believe it, and you keep thinking someone's there, and they're not there. But um, the, um, the team is such a family, and when you take a piece out away from the, the family, there's always a hole, and uh, the um, you know the players have a special bond. And when they lose one of their players that they've been so comfortable with for all these years, um, so when we look at it as an organization, um, you know, I anyway, so you know, I had to. Let my wife know, who's known, you know, Tyler also, because he's always been such a gentleman walking up to say hello. Um, so, you know, from the ownership side, it's just it's family. And, uh, and all our fans feel the same way. So the outpouring, what we've seen, is, I mean, you know, people from everywhere texting, calling, sending wishes. And so I feel so sad for the family. Um, like I said, everybody's just been, you know, trying to rally around and 
and be as supportive to, her, to Tyler's family and to the angels, and, uh, uh, and that's where we are today. A couple more guys. Each, each right. for, for any guys, uh, what is the plan in terms of how to honor Tyler moving forward? I know there was a lot done 10 years ago. We're doing similar stuff that we did in um, 09 when when uh, when Nick passed away. Um, similar to Brad, I, you know, I went through that with Nick in 09, and uh, like I say, there's not a playbook, but there's a lot of similar a similar um, things that you do to try to honor him. You're never going to honor him enough, you know. The way we'll honor him most is just you know watching these guys play. And, um, you know, as far as the stadium, I, you know, just typical with Patch and, and all that. But honoring them so much more with our, with our thoughts and our hearts is, is pr the most important thing. And for those of you guys up there, uh, if you guys did address the, uh, the players, I was just kind of wondering if you could share uh, what your message to the players was. <coughs> Um, with all due respect, Dylan, anything that's said to the players is between us. Uh, like we've talked about, it's family, so that's a family conversation. Obviously, the uh, the baseball world beyond just the Angels has, has expressed a lot of feelings for this. What does that support meant to you guys to come from the other 29 teams? Yeah, I, 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 you know, I personally heard from a lot, of, a lot of GMs um, and players, players that have played here in the past, um, and then seeing, you know, through some social media channels, people reaching out. Um, it just kind of drives home. And earlier answer I gave, it, this kid's reach was was pretty vast. You know, it wasn't just for the other guys like him. Um, it was for people that just came into contact with him. So it just validates everything we thought about Tyler. I, I, would, I would say that you know, his mom and his upbringing, it shows. Um, this kid's good stock. There's so many people, Jeff, still in the league, you know, that, that Tyler touched. Pitching coach for the Diamondbacks, Mike Butcher. Sosha reached out. Tony Riggins with MLB. Eddie Baines, a scout for the Red Sox. There's, you know, he's he's been, he was drafted in '09, so he's been he's been there since 10 years. I know Patrick Corbin's pitching tonight in Washington, and they were close friends. So it goes deep. You know, he, baseball and sports is a, is a, a, a close knit group, and. Um, Everybody, everybody, we, we've had an outpouring of uh, calls and texts from various people. Uh, Brad, um, how difficult of a task does this feel that you have, you know, given that you're obviously grieving yourself yet, you know, you're, you're the guy that's, that's in charge here and, um, you know, your job is to lead this group of players? Uh, yeah. <sighs> We're kind of all in the same boat on this one. Um, you know, we all feel tremendous loss. We understand that life has to go on and the baseball season has to go on and it'll move forward at different paces for different guys. Um, but this is just a reminder that professional athlete or not, we're all human and it's all, it can strike us the same. So. We'll, these guys will get 